I want to provide my Facebook and YouTube followers a uh, quick update on my uh, aquaponic grow bed that is supporting my 500 gallon uh, Predator half tank. Uh, here's the bed. It's uh, been in existence now, up and running for about uh, a year. You can see uh, a lot of the plants are uh, really taken off. Uh, the uh, the pothos, uh, I've got them growing from a, a suspended trellis, so they're they're really doing uh, well. In fact, uh, all the plants are really doing well. And I, I continue to experiment with uh, different things. Now, uh, I'm gonna go in there for a little bit of a close up, maybe a little shaky, but uh, some of the things I'm doing include, I'm uh, experimenting with uh, low growing plants. So I have plants growing on all levels. And in this particular case, what you're looking at are, uh, I've got some impatience uh, in there, hidden in amongst uh, the plants. Let me get around these leaves here. So the impatience seem to be doing uh, halfway decent. Uh, I've, you know, they're, they're continuing to flower and uh, grow. And uh, one plant that has been doing particularly good is, and it's taken over my window, it's a uh, dwarf uh, uh, papyrus. And uh, gets new shoots that come out of the bottom. And uh, everything else in the bed is uh, doing well. Uh, continuing to get improvement in my nitrates. I'm down to uh, a water change once every uh, 30 days on the 500 gallon aquarium. So uh, I would say it's, it's, it's so far it's cut my, my uh, water changes in half and uh, the root structure that I have down and inside the uh, 50 gallon tub continues to expand and uh, I suspect once uh, the roots uh, fill most of the tub I will have a uh, nitrate free aquarium. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, appreciate any uh, comments that uh, you might have on uh, my aquaponic row bed.